Welcome back and good morning. Steve Buden, financial analyst, joining us to talk about some things we should know before the year ends and a really good option for those that may be struggling financially. So Steve, what can you tell us about uh, what we should know if we want to pull from our 401k? Yeah, good morning. Back in late March, early April, when the Congress passed the CARES Act, which was dealing with the coronavirus uh, pandemic, there were some provisions put in there that expire next week. So it's important for our viewers, if they're considering this, to act fairly quickly. One of the main components of the legislation was allowing folks to tap their IRA money or their 401k money in a little bit of a more flexible way. So now, if you have a coronavirus related issue, and there's a fairly severe definition about that, you can take money out of your IRA or your 401k with uh, smaller penalties than you would before. So right now, if you take money out of the 401k or IRA, you will not have to pay a tax penalty. In addition, you can stagger that amount over a couple of years, so you don't have to pay the income tax hit all in one year, and they're allowing you to pay it back and receive tax credits down the line. So you technically may have to pay some taxes up front, but they're giving you the incentive to put the money back in without penalty and receive some tax relief down the line. It sounds like this is not for everyone. For those that have been lucky enough to you know, keep their job and not have major impacts from COVID-19, maybe this is not a good option. No, it might not be. Clearly, if you don't have money in a 401k or an IRA, this may not apply, but a lot of folks do. And I'll always mention that this should be the last resort. You know, you don't want to tap into your retirement funds unless you absolutely have to. Now, this can get a little complicated on the math side. So I will always advise folks to consult a tax professional to help with this because it did just start this year. But you know, using a simple uh, example, so let's say you take $6,000 out of an IRA or a 401k early, you would pay income tax on the $6,000 plus a 10% penalty. Now you can take that $6,000 and stagger it over three years. So you might apply 1,000 this year, 3,000 next year, and let's say in the third year, you pay some of that back. You pay back, that thousand or three thousand dollars or all six thousand dollars, it'll be just like the transaction ever occurred. Um, in addition, another option uh, to consider is the loan provisions in a 401k have changed. So the minimums have gone up to close to a, a hundred thousand dollars. So whether you should borrow against the 401k or take a withdrawal depends on your personal circumstances, but there are some options available. Again, maybe consult with an expert who could help you. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for joining us, Steve. You can find more of this on our website, ktnv.com, and we'll be right back after this.